Are you trying to learn the best way to clean your video games to get them operational again, but the only thing you're coming across are YouTubers who have absolutely no business telling anyone about anything, really? Well, we here at GameSack know everything there is to know, and in this video, we're going to show you how to clean your games and get them as good as new. Let's do it! Many, if not most, cartridge games come encased in a plastic shell to make handling them easier. And to clean the game properly, you need to get inside. The problem is, is that they're secured with ancient screws that are outdated, and they can't be opened with a modern screwdriver built after the year 2000. So how do you get the shell off in order to get that game nice and clean? Easy! Just drill out the screws! Look at all this dirt on the pin connectors which makes it impossible for the game console to read data from the cartridge. That needs to come off for the game to work properly. Using methods like isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip may seem like a good idea, but it doesn't get rid of that dirt and grime that you need gone. What you need to do is scrape the dirt away forever. Sandpaper is fantastic for this, but it's very important to choose the correct sandpaper as they come in a different amount of what they call grits. The definition of a grit is a small, loose particle of stone or sand. We don't want a lot of loose particles on our game, so be sure to choose the lowest grit you can. You'll find that this really gets the grime off of those stubborn, dirty contacts. Yeah, now the console and game cartridge can talk to each other. If sandpaper is hard to come by in your part of the world, a cheese grater is the next best alternative. Since the screws that you drilled out are no longer usable, you can just apply some glue to close the cartridge back up. You'll never need to open it again anyway since the game is now super clean. Oops, you forgot to clean the other side of that contact board. Do you have any dirty games that are hidden gems? Well, for those, you're going to want to use jewelry cleaner. They'll end up so sparkly that you won't want to keep those gems hidden anymore. Another great method for getting the dirt loose and ready to come off is easily handled in any standard household kitchen. Simply fill a pot of water, put it on the stove, and boil it. Heat is used to sterilize things in scientific laboratories, and water is also used to clean things. So, of course, combining these two elements will get your games super clean. Just put your dirty games in the pot and let them sit there for a good 35 minutes and boil that dirt straight away. If you want your games to be clean, but you lead a busy modern life, why not multitask? Next time you're doing a load of laundry, just dump your dirty games in there with your clothes and let our machine servants do all the work. Another great way to multitask is to wash them with your dishes in the dishwasher. They'll be clean enough to eat off of. If, after trying all of these methods, your game still doesn't work, it may need some higher powered cleaning that you just can't get in the home. Just take it down to your local car wash and for only a few dollars you can use their high powered hose. Spray that dirty bastard down nice and good. And don't forget to give it a good rinse as well. Be sure to use the spot free rinse as we don't want spots on our game, now do we? And once again, if you're just too busy living a modern life to get out of your car, let our machine slaves clean your games for you while you wash your car at the same time. Most car wash brushes are specifically designed for games to give them a thorough and very deep clean. Perfect! Did you know that when you play your games, a lot of heat is generated? That's right, video games are subject to a ton of heat. They dry out. So, not only is it important to keep your games clean, but also to moisturize. A Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion can moisturize any of your games for up to 24 hours. Just apply it to the game PCB and gently rub it in. And the best thing is, is that you only need to do this to each of your games once a day. Did you just buy a used game from the local shop and now you have a nasty label on it? No matter what you do, you just can't seem to get it off? Once again, our friend the boiling pot of water is here to help. Just submerge that bad boy for a good 20 minutes, remove, and then the label will peel right off with no issue at all. Now you have a clean looking cartridge that will fool your friends into thinking it's brand new. You have a Model 1 Sega CD and it seems to have stopped working? And you really need to play Mad Dog McCree? Well, don't call Dr. Kevorkian just yet, it's probably just dirty. Most people think of WD-40 as a lubricant, but it's also a cleaner thanks to its aliphatic hydrocarbons. 
So just open up that stubborn Sega CD, grab a can of WD-40, and spray her down. You'll be up and running after only a few minutes. Thank you, Hydrocarbons, for all that you do. And there you go. Now all your games are clean and will work perfectly forever. That does it for today's video. Don't forget to unsubscribe and thank you for watching GameSag.